didn't try on this video because I didn't want another <laughs> one of Orion to work. Angels, spirit guides, Aries, I'm going to give Susie and I'm going to do a reading again because I've just had to delete like five videos because of the sound. I'm hoping this works for Aries. Aries, for the week of the 7th to the 13th of February, please, angels, spirit guides, would, what would you like Aries to know? Okay, let's go Aries. Two, three, four, five, six. Aries, 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 what would you like Aries to know about the week of the 7th to the 13th of February? 7th to the 13th of February for Aries. No, it's upright. Angel, I think that was upright. Yeah. Angels, spirit guides, Aries, 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 Aries. For the week of the 7th to the 13th of February. What are the energies for Aries? Okay. All right, Aries. We've got, on the bottom of the deck, we've got the hermit. <laughs> Knowledge. Wanting to follow your own path, there's a light at the end of that tunnel and you're just going for it. You've got all the knowledge at your disposal with this hermit. There could be someone like a Virgo teaching you, um, but you're going for that light at the end of the tunnel, something you probably should have done about 10 years ago. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles, you're grounded, you're holding your uh, fort uh, this is an uh, earth sign, but it, this is like a catalyst for your element because it's your first card. So you're feeling sexy. You're feeling grounded. You've got a little bit of money. You're not taking any bullshit. On the top of that, you've got a family card. Happiness within the family. Joy. Union. A soul union. Um, it's, it's very, very happy. It's like you're happy being this grounded and, and you've, you've worked out who can come towards you and who can't, who you want to nurture and who you don't. Um, there's this happiness within the family, it's children, it's joy, it could be the pregnancy. Um, you've got strength here, so you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you're getting the strength to go out, get out of your confine, but you're still, um, there's a choice here. There's I'll do this because these two cards cut these two swords cut people out. Someone needs to back down um, and say something or express themselves. It could be a Leo. Um, it's like you're very still very cold to having people around. Um, you you're still very independent, doing your own thing, Aries. You might want to travel, but the King of Wands here is someone's taking action. When you get that nine of pentacles, people are looking at you and say, how did you do that? Um, how come you, you got that far? And, you, and they, they might say, we helped you get there. And you're saying, well, no, you didn't. You didn't. And that's why I'm taking action. I'm a leader. I'm an Aries. I'm independent. I'm, I'm traveling towards the thing that I've, like I said, should have done 10 years ago. Um, now... You might have to keep all the balls in the air. Someone could be juggling. But it's like you're keeping everything up, up. And you're quite good at it. <laughs> there is someone coming in with love, like a water sign. Um, they're expressing themselves. They could sing or play an instrument. Uh, it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sort of. They, they do move from side to side because they don't try, trust themselves enough but they're they're a counselor you could talk to them they're, they want to express love um, and this might make you think oh hold on a minute do I invest in this person I'm happy where I am I'm getting out of my confine I've fought my ego I'm doing my thing I'm taking action I'm keeping everything balanced right it's very hard for those two coins to keep that jewelry on there when it's only two coins. You need four coins, really. This King of Hearts comes in to express his love. It puts you in a place of, do I gamble on this? What do I do about this? Do I invest in this person or this person wants to invest in you? Okay? So it puts you in a bit of a dilemma. You might even get a headache for a couple of days. And this Four of Swords 
meditational card to say, right, what do I do here? I'm going to go and be on my own. I'm going to think about where I'm going to invest my money, where I'm going to invest my energy. And um, there's some kind of a willful battle going on up here because these people want your platform. Um, are you too guarded? Are you too... Is it like your name's not down, you're not coming in, uh, you know, I'm, I've got everything I need, thanks very much. Do you need to let down that guard? Do you need to let up? But the thing is, you fought very hard to get there. Can you trust that these... There's a battle here. Battle of wheels. It's like... You're just guarding the door. Your name's not down, you're not coming in. You're guarding the door because you fought very hard to get here. And now you're in this dilemma of, do I invest in this love? Do I invest in this person they want to express to, to me? Um, because, because you're holding it all together, it's very difficult to know. Can you trust this? Let's have a look. Aries, Aries. What would you like Aries to know about the week of the 7th to the 13th? Okay, so we've got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what I'm seeing because you're holding the coin. You're keeping your boundary. Stay there because that's what is respectful. There's passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Just because you're holding your boundary doesn't mean you don't that can't be fun. Okay, but it's saying retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And whether that's with somebody, it could be with this king of cups or whether that's by yourself to work out where do you invest or do you gamble on this okay this offer of love or expression or it could be just someone wants to come and heal you um it's saying retreat be passionate about your you be pa you're passionate about your creativity you're passionate about this family, this, 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 this happiness, but you're still holding it all together. Allow this action, allow this fire. This is a king of wands. It could be Leo Sagittarius coming in. Um, that it could be juggling, um, or you could be juggling these two kings. You know, we need to sit down and decide which one of these people. Which do I take action with? Or who do I give my money to? Because it does drop from the nine to the seven. It's almost like, look. I'm at the bottom of math. Seven. Yeah. Nine. Take away two. Equals seven. Right? I don't like seeing that money going down. Because you started here as this queen. With that coin. And all the sexiness and all the loveliness. So don't back down for anyone. This you follow your light at the end of this tunnel. Whatever you're focusing on, keep focusing on it. Everyone else can fall in. Angel spirit guide, what would you like? Okay, so I've got here. We've got have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So there's that music. Could be singing, playing music. Um, brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Concentrate on just the groundedness. Concentrate on expressing. You can be fun and loving, but there's an idea here. You need solitude to hold your... You, you've worked hard to get... Look at that fight. That's the battle of wheels, that creativity. You've worked very hard to get where you are. Keep going. Focus. Let's ask the angels. Oh, we've asked the angels. <laughs> anyway... It's all there, Aries. Um, you're doing really well and someone's coming to express their love. Um, just hold back a little bit. Wait until you know where you stand, okay? With, with what's going on this week um, before you invest 
emotionally or monetary into something you know normally you jump into something i'd say don't jump into something take take a day off meditate go for a walk retreat yes there's passion here but you need to love yourself first okay take care aries i will speak to you soon and um please like share and subscribe i hope you still like this video thanks very much bye bye